Hi everyone, I'm Tama Salisbury, one of the assistant principals here at Portage Central High School. Today's video is going to show you how to access your son or daughter's Google Classroom, and then from there, how to attend a teacher's Google Meet at Open House on Wednesday, September 23rd. Let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is navigate to a new tab in your browser. When you get to the URL box, type in classroom, Dot google .com. That's classroom.google.com, and it's going to take you to Google Classroom's homepage. Click on Go to Classroom. If your screen looks any different, just look for the Sign in to Google Classroom button. It's going to prompt you with a sign in. This is where you will need your son or daughter's Google account information for Portage Public Schools. For example, mine is tsalisbury at portageps.org. You'll type in whatever email address is your daughter or son's for Portage Public Schools. Then click next. Type in your son or daughter's password. Hit next. And then it's going to take you to the Google Classroom homepage. Now, my screen is going to look quite different from your daughter or son's um, homepage. That's because we're in different classes. For example, for our example today, I'm going to be using our test class. Your son and or daughter is going to have classes that say, you know, first hour geometry or something along those lines. And so the first hour of our open house is going to be first hour. Let's, for practice, assume that test class is our first hour class. I will click on test class. And this is the Google Classroom homepage for my first hour class. You'll notice the course title at the top. There's a class code to join. And then the meet link. This is the link that will take you to the teacher's Google meeting. That meeting will be live on the day of open house at the time that first hour is scheduled to run. If you wanna take a look at Google Classroom, you'll notice a lot of different features. There's a stream where announcements are posted. And then the classwork category shows what assignments have been posted in that teacher's classroom. The people tab shows the different people who are in the class. And then um, grades um, might be used by a teacher to provide feedback to the students in, in his or her class. So from this homepage, once you're ready to join the teacher's live virtual Google Meet, you will click on the Meet, allow the use of your microphone and camera. Here I am again. Hi, everyone. And then I'm going to click the mute button. That way, when I join the meet, my microphone isn't picking up all of my background noise when I join the others who are participating in open house. Or if I was a student, when I join, it's not going to be interrupting and disrupting everyone else in the class. Once you've got your camera turned off, if you are uncomfortable sharing your camera, you can turn that off too. I'm gonna to leave mine on. And then you click this green button, join now. Here I am again. Now I'm actually in the meet for my test class. This is what you're gonna do for each of the seven classes in your student's seven period day. You'll navigate to Google Classroom, open up the meeting link that's posted at the top of Google Classroom at the particular time that the class starts on the night of open house. And then to end your time with the teacher at open house, navigate to the hang up button down at the bottom center of the screen. I'm gonna hit that button and it indicates that I've left the meeting. I can close out my tab and then I am going to go back to my classes tab for Google Classroom. You do that by navigating to the top left-hand corner where the three horizontal bars are located, click on that, and then click on another class, or you can go up to the classes tab, which will just show you all of the classes that you have to choose from. Again, click on the particular class, click on the meet link, and then you will be all set for those classes. If you have any questions at all, please go give us a call at 323-5200, and we will help you out. 
Also, it's important to note that you need that uh, credentials information from your son or daughter, their Portage Public Schools email address and their password so that you can access the Google Meet links in each teacher's Google Classroom. Thanks so much, everybody, and we'll see you on Wednesday.